What's going on everybody? Drake Van Hall here back with another video from Performance Financial. And hey guys, we're really trying to get out there and get as much content as we can for you. So if you'd like these videos, please go below, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. It really helps us out. And if you've got questions, leave them, drop them down in a comment below. We'd love to answer them for you. Uh, and if you have other video suggestions, we'd love to hear them and put together more content to help you guys out. So today, as you can already see by the thumbnail, I'm sure, we're going to just talk through what is it going to take to start an LLC in your for your new business and, and setting up that new business. So we're going to kind of go through some of those basic little things of setting up a business and then kind of at the end talk about just some little things that can really help propel it right away. So let's jump right into it and start ourselves off. Number one, we need to set up an LLC. We need to protect ourselves. So if you haven't done this in your new business, that's okay. You can operate as a sole proprietor. The LLC just gives you that little extra, that extra layer of protection. It separates your personal life from the business and from you. So setting up an LLC is really a good way and it's not that hard to do. So first thing you need to do is you need to go onto your secretary of state website, whatever you're going to name your company, make sure that name hasn't been taken. Now, let's say you wanted to call it, you know, Superman, uh, business solutions, LLC. Um, and that name, you know, is, is taken. Well, what you can do is you can change it slightly or, or update it so that you can get it to be exactly the name you want it to be. Or you can just call it Bantall Enterprises or, or whatever, LLC. You can do that type of a thing. So first, figure out that your name's not taken. Secondly, you gotta put down a registered agent. Typically, when you're setting it up as a new business, it's you. Uh, so put down you as the registered agent. Then you need to fill out your certificate of organization. And then some states will require that you have an operating agreement in place. These can be found online. If, if you're starting it with other members, though, I would recommend probably sitting down with an attorney to help get this set up. This can be a difficult piece, and you want to get this set up right on the front end so that you don't have arguments and fights in the back end. Finally, you submit that to your state's website, get approved for your LLC. Then you need to go to the IRS's website and get your EIN number. Your EIN number is gonna help you get a bank account set up, hire employees and do those types of things, and it's gonna be used for your taxes. So get that EIN number set up. That leads us into our next point. Once you get your EIN set up, now you can go open your bank account. Business banking will require that you have an EIN, so they're gonna to need to see that certificate or you're gonna to need to have that number with you. So get that set up. And the reason you want a business banking account set up is you need to separate those personal and business expenses. We just set up an LLC to protect ourselves. So now we need to make sure we're not commingling funds between personal and business. I've seen this a million times where business owners do this incorrectly and they, you know, oh, I paid for some of this out of the business and oh yeah, I bought some of this stuff for the business, but I just used my own money. If you can track that, we can make an adjustment for it, but it's not a good habit to get into. So avoid that. If your business needs money for additional expenses, take that money from your personal account Put it into your business account and then buy those items. But don't be commingling funds in between. Don't pay for your car loan out of your business and buy a bunch of supplies out of your personal. Just stick it all. Everything that's business is in the business and everything that's personal is personal. So make sure to just create a bright line there. Finally, this helps out massively at tax time when you're doing your actual accounting. Um, I've seen it a thousand times where a client comes in with a shoebox full of receipts and goes, yeah, just figure out what this is. Um, I think some of it's personal. I think some of it's business. And there's a thousand receipts that you gotta go through and you go, I don't know, are these all these meals business? Are they all personal? Are all these items for, it just becomes a nightmare. So separate those things out and get that bank account set up. Next, and maybe the most important part of starting a new business, get customers. Customers are your lifeblood. You need to be a selling machine. This needs to be your sole focus. You need to be going to the wall as hard as you can getting customers. Maybe you got to go knock on doors. Maybe you got to send out flyers. Maybe you got to get your advertising rolling. Anything you can do, you have to be laser focused on getting customers. You can spend all the money you want, but it doesn't do you any good unless you have customers that are replenishing that cash that's going out the door. And you're going to have cash go out the door when you start. So get after it. Get sales in the door. That's my third tip. My fourth tip is set up your accounting. Get something in place. 
call up somebody that can help you out. We would love to help you out. And we do this type of accounting work all the time for new businesses. We help them track and get everything up and running. Get this set up. There's a couple huge com components of why accounting is important as you're getting your business rolling. And one, you need to be able to track what's going on. You can't just fly by the seat of the seat of your pants and go, I, I don't know what's happening, but we're running a business now. You need to understand what's coming in, what's going out, what you have available in cash, what your receivables are, what you owe people, maybe you have loans. All of this needs to be tracked in your accounting system and you need to have a good pulse on what this information is. So get that set up. Typically what we'll see with smaller businesses that are getting started out is they'll use QuickBooks Online or they'll use Xero or FreshBooks, something like that. And those are good starter platforms um, and they'll probably be good for the next few years at least in your business. So QuickBooks Online is what we typically recommend. We think it's the most robust, but get that set up, get those transactions started flowing through there and start using an accounting system. Uh, my fifth point is you really need to start managing your expenses. Uh, according to Bloomberg, 80% of businesses, eight out of 10, fail in their first 18 months. Now, there's a lot of reasons for this, but just that statistic alone is alarming, 80% in 18 months. So how do you protect yourself against this? Well, one, you get customers that start paying you, you start doing, you providing services or selling your product as fast as you can. And then secondly, you need to really manage your expenses. You really need to take a good look at, okay, what is reasonable to expend in this business? Because if your inflows are less than your outflows, you can't last very long doing something like that. Now, I have a book that I've been recommending for a long time now. It's called Profit First. And this is something, This it, it gives you a system on how to kind of manage some of these things. And really what it does is it works on a behavioral standpoint to where you only set a percentage of what you've earned to be used for expenses. Everything else technically is profit, but it, it separates these cash accounts into different things so like owner's comp, operating expenses, tax account, uh, profit account, uh, and an income account that gets separated between those four. It might be something to look into to really help you manage expenses because it guarantees that you have profit in the business because it forces you to only use a small portion of a smaller portion of the money that you bring in to utilize for expenses. So those are my five tips on starting a new business. Um, if you guys got questions, drop them down below in the comments. We'd love to help you out. Again, my name is Drake Van Tal with Performance Financial. We do expert tax planning, advisory, and accounting services. And so if you guys have any questions or would like to meet up and you're starting a new business, let me know. We'd love to help you walk on your journey. We love entrepreneurs. We love working with you guys. So let us know down below.